is an artwork called Tide. Um, it's an installation uh, controlled by the gravitational pull of the moon and that information is coming as, as data live into the gallery using a, a gravity meter. I'm, I've set up to uh, control the water levels in these uh, glass spheres. So as the, as the gravity increases up to a high tide, this water level rises. And as the, the gravity decreases, they, they go down. There's a friction device on the top that makes them sing, a bit like a finger on a wine glass. So as the water levels rise and fall, it changes the note produced. Um, and they're in harmony with each other. It's an idea based on um, a thing called the music of the spheres. I wanted the, um, the viewer to be sort of immersed into a, an audio kinetic sculpture environment and experience the differences in, in sound. Um, and what happens, one, one tripod will sing at one frequency and another will sing at another, uh, another sound, uh, tone. Um, and you end up with interference patterns occurring within the room. So you end up with a pulsating sound between the two tripods. And that's quite intense. So you can, um, the viewer can kind of play with that experience.
Evolution has generated many species. This is the Animaris currens ventosa. This is a, a wave going from red to right. You can see in this one. And now it goes from, yes, now it goes from left to right. And this is a new generation, a new family, which uh, is able to store the wind. So the wings pump up air in lemonade bottles, which are on top of that. And, um, and they can use that energy in case the, ways the wind falls away and the, the tide is coming up. And they still have a little bit of energy to reach the dunes and save their lives. Because they are drowned very easily. I could show you this animal. Thank you. So the proportion of the tubes in this animal is very important for the, 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 the walking. There are 11 numbers, which are called the 11 holy numbers. These are the distances of the tubes, which makes it walk that way. In, in fact, it's a, it's a new invention of the wheel. It works the same as the wheel. The axis of a wheel is uh, staying on the same level, and this hip is staying on the left, same level as well. In fact, it is a better than a wheel, because when you try to drive with your bicycle on the beach, you will notice it's going very, very hard to do. And, the, and the, the, the feet just step over the sand, and the wheel has to touch every piece of the ground in between. So 5,000 years after the invention of the wheel, we have a new wheel. And I will show you in the next video. Can you start it, please? The very heavy loads can be moved. There are some, there's a guy pushing there behind, but can also walk on the wind very well. It's 3.2 tons. And uh, this is uh, working on, on the distorted wind in the bottles. He has a feeler when it can feel obstacles and turn around. In the next shot you see it's going to the other way. Enemies are the storms. This is a part of the nose of the Animaris percipier. And uh, when the nose is fixed of the animal, the whole animal is fixed. So, when the storm is coming up, it drives a pin into the ground. <laughs> and the nose is fixed, the whole animal is fixed. The wind may turn, but the animal will turn all his, his nose into the wind. Well, Another, another couple of years, and these animals will survive on their own. I still have to help them a lot. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>